Andrew Tate, detained in Romania, handed UK arrest warrant, spokesperson says. Online influencer Andrew Tate was detained in Romania and handed arrest warrant issued by British authorities, a spokesperson said Tuesday. Tate, 37, and his brother Tristan were detained Monday evening for 24 hours on allegations of sexual aggression <laughs> in UK, case dating back to 2012 and 2015. Spokesperson Mattia Petrusco said four women had reported Tate to UK authorities for alleged sexual violence and physical abuse, but the Crown Prosecution Service decided not to prosecute them. The alleged victims then turned to crowdfunding to cover the legal cause as they pursue a civil case against them. Tate is charged in a separate case in Romania with rape, human traffic, and informing a criminal gang to sexually exploit women. Adam. I mean, it's so obvious what they're doing. It's mm -hmm. insane. I, before you even read that, I'm like, let me guess the uh, sex crimes. And Adam, read, read that. Let what me the, guess. Adam, what's sexual aggression right. mean? Hey, girl, oh give me God. your number. It, 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 like, what is that? They've revealed their hand. It, it's clear. How many times have I asked you, uh, what's going on with Tate? Like, we haven't, like, mm -hmm. it's almost like the calm before the storm. We haven't heard exactly. anything about what's going on in their case in months. They were released from house arrest. They're doing podcasts more than ever on Rumble now. They just did an Oscars podcast on Sunday night. I gave, I sent Rob a clip of right. the moment where they're, they're, by the way, he, they were going after John Cena. They're going after the gay agenda. They sure. said some, Play the clip, some crazy stuff hmm. that I mean, but bro, at that point, though, like, you know that they're looking for you. I would tone it down. You know, everybody tells Trump <laughs> to tone it down. Like, keep going. Right, nope. That right there. That's from Rumble. Nice. They're not going to turn it down. You and I were at the height of our fame. We were offered $50 million, and when we escaped this matrix attack, when we're no longer tied up inside of the legal system, I'm going to tell you which company offered it to us. So you may as well kill me now, because oh, I'm going to say it. And we were offered $50 million, and we basically had to have certain opinions on LGBT and certain opinions on Israel-Palestine, and we had to wear certain clothes and dress in a certain way and do certain things, and we wow. need to be protected by the media establishment. They have said, we spend a lot of money on just advertising just mainstream media, so the mainstream media will never attack you because they cannot go against the poster child of the people who financed them. Basically, wow. we hit the gay wall, and we declined. <laughs> and after declining, we ended up in a jail cell. And it's very mm. interesting. Cosmic. You, cosmic, yeah. Ooh, wow, how'd that happen? And it's very interesting when you sit and talk about how they're out to humiliate men because they want mm -hmm. anyone who's seen as masculine and seen as a hero and seen as a role model to face humiliation so that the people who look up to this person are no longer inspired. And, the, and then mm. he gets arrested right after this. Well, and I thought right. about this. Be right after this podcast he did he was arrested by the romanian police he's into andrew tate can he transition and become like a, a female like andrea well, titinsky or something he did get, that uh well, on the second podcast we did in bucharest he, he said out. i'm i'm now the most he's famous woman female. in the world right why here. can't he transition and be like i'm not andrew anymore <laughs> yeah he, just he, beat all the he tweeted right after the arrest I, i'm not sure how he tweeted if it was his people he said the matrix is afraid but i only fear god uh this there was some writing on the wall here. I don't know if you saw mm -hmm. this. This was a, maybe a week or two ago. He was pulled over in Romania, mm, yeah. uh, given a that. drug test. He passed. Given yep. a breathalyzer, he passed. Here's the tweet right here. The Matrix is afraid, but I only fear God. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we like these guys. We're rooting for those guys. Do we agree with everything they say? No. But do I agree with everything anyone says? No. 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 But this is the the times we're living in is that if you don't like somebody, and to this extent, you don't like what they're saying, or if they're going counterintuitive to the message, you character assassinate them, yeah. you try to jail them, and as he famously said, the third bullet ends up in the back of your head. Yeah. So we're yeah. rooting for these guys, I have no clue what the hell they're going for, but they're trying to extradite them to the UK now. Which is not good. It, it's, it's, again, this is my opinion, it's pretty clear to me, Romania has found nothing. Of course. Mm -hmm. well, he's still there. He's going out. He's driving his Bugatti. He's going around. He's having fun. Like he's, There's probably a sense of comfort where he's like, I know this is all bullshit. Hmm. But he also... Well, there was a, there was a, the fear they had was that these guys were about to escape Romania and oh, go right. somewhere else. So that's apparently one of the things that, hey, uh, they, they may be running away, so let's get them before they yeah. do. And all this stuff that they're spinning... Uh, and doing what they're doing. Now, here's the thing. What what percentage of this is, you know, just literal? Like, hey, the guy, the girls raised the money, and they're not going after them civil and UK, and that's what the case is. Okay, that's one. Second option is 
their comments they made Sunday night that, hey, here's what we're going to do. Whether you do this or not, we're going to come out and talk about who gave the $50 million offer hmm. to them. Who could that $50 million be? Is it BBC no that Ooh. offered them the money? I don't think so. Is it Who is it? Who would it be? Who knows? Maybe there's going to be somebody that they're going to out, the, the, uh, oust that's going to explain who it is, uh, reveal who it is. Three, is this what's happening because it's getting closer to election year and he they are very loud spokes Ooh. person on what he said the other day. The only person left that's going to be saving America is going to be Trump. I think he said that on something the last couple of weeks. Four, is it really the fact that they're worried, you know, of what they're going to be doing with girls? Who knows? You pick and choose whichever thing you, you think it is. They may be just delaying them for their popularity to decline and for their relevance to kind of disappear and then for them to be like, okay, now we'll let you come back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, Now we'll let you get back into doing what you're doing. The thing with the establishment is you could kill off someone's momentum, mm -hmm. but if someone really has a message, you're only killing Can't. them temporarily. Exactly. You're not going to kill them permanently. You can slow down momentum. You can slow down from them saying a few words right now. But the world is naturally curious. Yes. And they're going to curiously want to find out what these people have to say, no matter how much you try to hide them from watching it. Exactly. Someone's going to have saying. to hear what they have to say. Their message is going to get out there. Tom, did you have any thoughts on this or you're sitting there pretty quiet? No, th this is unsurprising, but this is... This is horrifying. You know, you've got now UK courts on these. These these guys didn't kill Kennedy <laughs> and they're being extradited at great cost, great publicly from Romania to here. So somebody doesn't like what they're saying and somebody doesn't want them to say more. And now you've got a, a, a what's this, 2012, a 10 year old yep. case. This is 2012 is the first case. So this is unsurprising to me. They have pissed somebody off. They continue to piss somebody off. And Romania found nothing. They, they Remember, they had him in jail for a while. Then they put him in house arrest for a mm -hmm. while. And then they finally had to set him and say, you, now you can go to your own home for house arrest. And then there was nothing. And now all of a sudden, well, there's nothing. And now the four girls are in the UK. They, they do a crowdfunding thing. What the hell does the Crown Court care about two guys who had a dispute with some women compared to all the things that you could There's be so worried about. Yeah, exactly. Something is up below the surface yeah, and these not. guys have pissed somebody off and they're not going to let it go. And you know what's interesting? Whoever it is, they can't say what it really is. Mm. This is going to backfire dramatically. When's the last time we talked about Tate publicly on the podcast? It's been months. months. It's been months. Look, they're doing their thing on Rumble. They're not even on YouTube. They're not even on TikTok. They're on Rumble. You know, the thing with Rumble is you're kind of speaking to an audience that already agrees with you, right? Mm. You're not speaking to the general public. It hasn't, look, as Tate Massive still say, respect to Tristan, yes. But it's not like they're worldwide news. Now, if you go Google Andrew Tate, look at all this. Yahoo we News. See. What else is there? Everything. CNN. Reuters. Rob, help me out here. I don't have the eyes set like this. Punch BBC, Washington Post, Wapo, BBC. Daily Mail, Guardian. Yeah, it's headline news on all these different yeah, things. Yeah, good point. So it's going to backfire dramatically. Their whole intention is to diminish his star power. It's only going to make it greater. His That's what I just said. They're only going to make his star power greater. It's going to be... Con this is counterintuitive to what you people... Matrix or whomever behind this want. The more you continue to go after Andrew Tate, the more you try to bring up garbage about him, the more you try to bring him in the news, it's only going to make him more popular. And people, like Patrick Max Davis said, people are curious. So whether or not you like Andrew Tate, he's still going to get attention, whether it's positive attention or negative attention. So I wish, you know, this person or people, group of people who's funding this and who's behind this, I wish someone would sit you down and teach you psychology 101 because clearly you don't even know what you're doing. But let's continue here. Let's wrap this up. His star is shining brighter today and it's going to backfire dramatically for these idiots. This is what we're going to do. There you go. Anybody that places an order of let's say $50 or more minimum one future looks bright hat. Oh, you know, $50 or more pink. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 
I think that's it for the commentary. But I always like to to listen to Patrick Beck David, as I mentioned before. He always has a great perspective. And a lot of the things that he's mentioned, you know, I've also come to the same conclusion. It doesn't take rocket science to come to that conclusion of those some of those things. And like Adam said, and I said previously, you're only going to increase Andrew Tate's star power. <laughs>